Hey guys, today I am going to tell you how to make a basic game ping pong. Since it's my first tutorial, I am going to tell you about Construct 2. So, to order to create a new project, just click new project and you will get. If you don't get this page, it's okay. Click on file, new and new empty project and then click open. So your new project will now open in order like this. So guys, I hope that now you have understood how to make a new project. Mm, now guys, if you want to make it scroll like this, then press control and zoom in and zoom out like by scrolling in or out. So now this is our nice thing and so to in order to get layout properties just click on this white sheet you are seeing and you will get your layout screen and now in order to see these dotted line properties click on project properties view and now you can just go ahead and copy it and now you can just paste it over here and then just press enter so now guys as you can see we have a really small layout and the dotted line has disappeared that's basically because the windows size and the layout size is same so you can say that the layout size has emerged into the windows size so now i am going to tell you about these two things layout one and when sheet one so if you are on layout one the layout is basically where you design your game and the event sheet is basically where you command your game so let's start now in order to do the first step you can go to layers bar from here and now you can click this layer zero remember always construct two starts with layer zero and counts from zero so now you click on your layer zero if you don't see your layers tab go to view over here click on check layers bar and you will see it here so now rename layer 1 to background and there you go and now in order to give in background double click on this white screen now you click on the sprite option now you write the name for it remember construct2 does not allow space so i'm gonna write the name as back underscore ground so i'm gonna set the background as black you can take any favorite color in order to get black click on any color you like and then scroll this dial up to here and now use this bucket option and click over here to fill it and now you have your black screen so now you just have to like decide it to cover your whole screen like this you can even run it in your browser like this and you see this black screen now so now in order to run you can either press um, this home button run or you can either press this button so now let's add some more things so now click on this add button in the layer section you get another layer zero that's basically because your layer zero is your background but then you rename it to background after that the next layer will be automatically renamed as layer 0 so now name it game after you have named it game you click on your background layer and you see this lock icon you have to press it after that go back to the game one and now double click click on sprite now right left after you have done that 
take your favorite color i'm going to take red and fill it here i told you how to fill it choose the bucket option and then fill now cross it and you will get this so now you can resize it to anything you want for and better looking go to view snap to grid and grid size 16 to 60 and now press enter so now you have basically a nice grid which is like this and that's your one pack if it looks too small to you just you can just like create it with like this and create it a little longer Move it, and now there we go. We have a one pack, so make it a little spacing from your left side. So now let's add another paddle. We'll name it right paddle. So click on the sprite option. Now write right paddle. After you have done that, this will come here. I'm gonna name the another one blue. I'm gonna write blue over here. So after you have done that, just position it over here. Now click on this red one. Now do you see this common section over here? Go to its size. You can copy it and now paste it in this side. So you see now these two are identically in the same size. Um, so now you can do it like this and if it's a little difficulty you can do show and then do it reverse and now you can place it anyway so now after you have done that let's make some scoreboard over here so for that I'm gonna choose a white sprite now you can name it between or versus between and after you have done that you just press here and go to all set your dial all the way towards the whitest section now click here and now you will see this white section if you don't enter white if you are in the normal layout this white section won't come so yeah it's done after you have done that just place it towards the center most and after you have done the between now click here now do not select sprite you have to select text now you can write left score So the invalid characters were removed so that's no problem for us so now write score and under the properties option set the text to zero and set visibility visible area well so because this is a number I'm gonna set it Cambria math bold and 36 so now the text would not be visible to you so just create it more bigger and now the text should be visible to you so now set it color to red cause your player is red you can set to any color you like any color you like guys so it's not compulsory to my steps you can add a color yourself so now let's create a blue scoreboard so now let's write right score after that click over here so okay so i did it wrong guys so now go to project and you don't have the right score so now from projects click delete on right so yeah after you have done that go ahead and select text and you can name it like score. 
after you have done that, press over here, your score will come, set to zero, the color should be white, and after it set it to Cambria map, bold, and the size line. After you have done that, yeah, now you have your zero over here. Another zero over here. So now you can set it color to blue. Or our another player is blue. So now they'll get an identity. After they have done that, you just have to create a ball. Sprite. Now name it ball. After you have done that. Now you have to select this brush icon. You see this brush? Click on it and now we'll go ahead and color the ball to yellow. And you can see the sample color over here. Yeah. So now there is this small dot. So to increase the size, in order to increase the size, you can do it size 70 or anything you like. So let's set its size to 100 and there we go, we still have no thing. So set your hardness to 100 if you want it to be perfectly round. So let's set size to 500. Okay, so that's too much. How about 250? Yes, so that's more. So now just close the tab and you get your big fat ball. After you have done that, press this right dot U and press shift and now make it small. And there we go, we just added a ball. So that's it for this video guys. In next video I will be telling how to move these paddles. So bye.